Welcome back guys to another video and let's talk about NiceHash adding a new algorithm. So this new algorithm will be called Kryptonite V7 or Kryptonite version 7 and it will be added in about two or three weeks depending on how fast they can work on it and if Monero really does the hard fork in time or if it doesn't. And Monero hard fork should happen in about 7 days and 19 hours from now. So that will be on 27th March of 2018. So that is pretty, pretty soon. So if you actually ordered that new Bitman X3 miner that will be used for mining only Kryptonite and Monero is, as you know, uh, based on Kryptonite algorithm, you only have 7 days left to mine but you most likely still didn't get your miner because they still didn't start shipping them. Even if you ordered in the first batch of those miners, you will still not get them in time. And if Monero really does this hard fork in 7 days and 19 hours from now, you will most likely not make any profit with that miner. And that miner costs $12,000 in the first batch, so that is really, really insane. And you don't really have to mine Monero uh, with kryptonite you have all of the other coins maybe like five or six of them that are currently profitable but they are profitable a little bit less than monero but the problem with them is that they have really low total hash rate on the network and monero has more than like 10 or 20 times more hash rate than all of those coins combined and if Monero does this hard fork and only thing you have to mine is all those other coins like Sumo coin and Digibyte, when they have so low total network hash rate, they will just get destroyed with all of those new ASIC miners. And yes, if you would have this ASIC miner right now, you would be making about four to five thousand dollars per month mining, but this will not be the case. And the thing is that Bitmain probably pre-mined with them, just like they do with all of the other miners that are insanely profitable for them to pre-mine, because why would they sell those miners to you for maybe $12,000 if they can make that in only one or two months? And now, once the rumors started that Monero will be doing proof-of-work switch, to kryptonite version 7 from the normal kryptonite they decided to magically start selling them and people went insane and with 220 kilo hashes per second on those uh, extreme miners people should go insane but only if monero wouldn't announce this proof of work change because this proof of work change will actually change everything and if monero wouldn't go proof of work change all of your vega cards that are currently the best ones to run kryptonite on would get completely also destroyed so the thing is that you should really not order one of those extreme miners or the, the new Baikal miners because all of them will just be useless. Once that there will be so much hash power on all of those small coins, you will be making pennies and you will never, you will actually never pay off that miner, not even half of that miner. Because only like five or six of those miners that start mining something less profitable like Sumo coin will double the hash rate of the whole network and you will not be even making like one dollar, you will be making like 50 cents with your miners. But the more exciting news is this Kryptonite version 7 algorithm that will you be able to run on all of your cards on AMD and on Nvidia cards. It will not replace the Kryptonite um, algorithm. You will still have, pro uh, pro you will still be able to mine the Kryptonite, but over here down you will have Kryptonite version seven, that will probably have the same hash rate that Kryptonite has right now. And Kryptonite right now has about eight thousand satoshis per twenty-four hours on GTX one hundred and eighty Ti, so that is really terrible compared to something like Equihash that has three times the profitability of Kryptonite. And Kryptonite profitability will drop like 90% probably just like Sia did. Sia is now at 434 satoshis per day because those ASIC miners A3 and other ones completely destroyed Sia and this will happen to Kryptonite so there is really no need for them to have even Kryptonite support. They can also remove that, they can remove Blake, Sia, Pascal and all of those um, algorithms that can be mined with ASICs and just replace all of them with Kryptonite version 7. 
So, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comments. And if you are considering to order one of those extreme miners or not, but you should really not order them. And see you soon in another video. Bye.